Uh, this is Mario Casquero. I am a software quality engineer from Red Hat Spain. And well, this is my first time at DevConf here in Breno. And also my first time delivering a topic in a conference. So I hope you all will enjoy this lightning talk as much as I would do. Let's start. Uh, today's agenda includes uh, first quality testing, uh, the basic concept and some different types of tests that every quality engineer runs in the day to day. Next is uh, how carbon emissions and clean electricity are directly related to a developer's work and how can those emissions be reduced. Next is uh, what is carbon aware software, uh, how does it work, and the two main solutions used by retail companies. Finally, uh, I'm going to present one of those solutions and how it is possible to make use of it in order uh, to make not only quality testing carbon aware, but basically any other task. So quality testing is mainly what we do as quality engineers. We keep some continuous control onto a product with the idea of reducing or even better eliminating the possible errors before this one goes to the market. The way we follow to achieve this is through a bunch of different tests that includes uh, stress and regression testing, uh, smoke testing, negative test, sanity testing, and so on. So let's go with a little introduction for each one. Uh, stress testing, uh, it consists in performing any supported operation by the product that in conditions of insufficient resources, uh, such as memory or disk space, uh, high concurrency, uh, denial of service attacks, uh, etc. For regression testing, um, the idea is to run tests over one or more features already existing in the product because they have been modified. Depending on, on the resources, the priority, or just the time, it is possible to, to test all the existing cases or prioritize some of them according to the changes that have been made. A small testing is simply the, the necessary set of uh, preliminary tests that covers the critical functionalities uh, of the product. For example, starting the application, okay? Uh, in case of failures, uh, the software release so of the product may be affected, so they are quite important. Testing ensures that uh, a system handles properly, for example, uh, unwanted data input and unexpected user actions. And sanity testing is similar to smoke testing, but it goes deeper because uh, it covers more than the critical functionalities. Doing this over a stable build, typically related with the uh, new or fixed functionality. It can be also understood as a subset of the regression testing. So, as everybody knows, carbon emissions are one of our current and biggest problems. A lot of companies are trying to reduce them. As it is the case with Red Hat, we will intend to reach net zero emissions by 2030. Nowadays, it is possible to reduce this carbon footprint uh, select a different time or location for running things because most of the electricity is produced by burning fossil fuels but there is a percentage getting bigger and bigger uh, 
produced by renewable and clean resources such as uh, solar and wind. So if we make our software conscious to do more when the electricity is clean and do less when the electricity is dirty, that means uh, produced by fossil fuels, then that's called carbon aware software. If we are looking for uh, our software to be aware of the um, carbon emissions, we need uh, to start thinking about uh, real data emissions and probably the most important forecast. Uh, keeping in mind the provenance of electricity that is uh, already measured in grams of carbon dioxide per kilowatt hour, uh, it will be possible to select a time in which this amount is the lowest in order to run, for example, some stress testing, as I mentioned, that uh, usually consumes a high amount of energy. If it also keeps the possibility to run things at different locations, uh, the real data emissions or the forecast can be checked depending on the zone selected. All of these uh, are actually possible by the two following solutions, time and electricity maps. Uh, for this line in talk, uh, as it is only 15 minutes, I will be focused on electricity maps. Um, and the truth is that is, it is not totally free, but they provide a free month trial, so it is enough at least to give a try, as it is my case. Uh, electricity maps uh, works through an API, and the following endpoints are provided. Those are uh, carbon intensity, power breakdown, power consumption breakdown, and power production breakdown. The last two ones are merely forecasts, so they do not offer real data. For today's purpose, uh, the most interesting is the first one, it is carbon intensity. First of all, uh, we'll be obtaining the sound code for the region we want to know the current carbon emissions or to read the forecast. This is a public API, okay, uh, registration is not needed in this case, uh, so everybody can trigger it. If we take a look to the response, uh, it is composed uh, by a huge list of the supported countries and regions I've summarized uh, this one a bit, and we have to look for the one we are interested in. In this case, uh, we have Chikia here. As a clarification, uh, we are only interested in the sound code, so for Chikia will be C and Z, not the sound name that is already Chikia. Once we know the, um, the region, uh, reading, uh, reading the real data, emissions uh, from, from the carbon dioxide will require the following endpoint, okay? You will see the latest at the end of the endpoint and the zone code obtained uh, previously. Taking a look to the response um, for, the selected, for the selected zone, in this case Chikia, we have this carbon intensity value. This number will be uh, lower when uh, the electricity is cleaner, that means produced by renewable sources, and higher when more uh, fossil fuels have been used. This is actually measured in grams of carbon per kilowatt hour. Uh, one more thing, if you want to disable estimations for this kind of endpoint, you can just include the query parameter in the request. So include disable estimation, set it as true. To obtain a uh, 24 hours forecast, <coughs> the following endpoint has to be used. Uh, you can see the forecast at the end of the endpoint and again the zone with the region we have obtained before. A real application for this could be to prepare an automated process that given a region as it could be Chikia, 
it will select uh, the desired time uh, based on the API results for sure uh, when the carbon intensity will be the lowest. Okay, taking again response during all the 24 hour forecast. This has been surprised again for sure. A real response will be so much bigger. Um, we have uh, 337 grams of carbon dioxide per kilowatt hour at this daytime. So that is the ideal time for running something like a stress. Uh, and that's it. That's a proper way that we can contribute to make our software aware of carbon emissions. One more thing. Um, they provide uh, code snippets uh, for making it easier to the final user to integrate, to integrate these kind of endpoints. Okay. So for example, uh, you can obtain the cool command, JavaScript functions, or a Python script, among many other things. And that's all. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, if you have some questions, uh, feel free. Yeah, there are no questions from the chat. Okay. Uh, the, the forecast changed uh, a lot. So can you track this forecast? Uh, Could you repeat the question? Sorry. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, you are asking if the forecast uh, changed a lot. Uh, actually, it shouldn't because it uses like, um, estimation procedure that is actually providing uh, data okay, in, in real time. So, uh, I mean, it could change from maybe 10 hours or 12, but in the near time, it should be quite confident. I just give you one try. Okay. Do you have a dedicated set of control variables for your model, or um, in the case of uh, electricity net, to improve the model to give it a statistical yeah, balance between what do we have locally resources like sun energy and Okay, this is <laughs> something. <laughs> okay, I don't have as much as experience with electricity maps as for this case, but yeah, I think not all the variables are included in the estimation procedure. I also saw that it changed between uh, America and Europe. For Europe, there are some uh, extra data that you can uh, keep in mind in order to provide those values. For America, it's not. So uh, it will depend the region, and I am not sure if uh, all the variables of the traffic or uh, the way the electricity is produced are included. Sorry, I am not so no, depth no. In, in electricity maps. OK, any more questions? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that way uh, you are uh, consuming energy when it is produced from something like the sun or the wind. So you are not directly contributing to uh, provide more uh, CO to the atmosphere. Right? That's the idea. Okay, we are out of time. We can discuss outside if you want. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>